Hello everybody, welcome back. Today our topic is edema. What is edema? Edema is the swelling of soft tissues due to an increase in interstitial fluid, predominantly sodium and water, but also protein and cell rich fluid. Can be localized or generalized. Edema is a sign or syndrome results from an increase movement of fluid from the intravascular into the interstitial space or a decreased movement of water from the interstitium into capillaries lymphatics. What are the different mechanisms involved in edema? 1. An increased capillary hydrostatic pressure. 2. A decreased plasma oncotic pressure. 3. An increased capillary permeability. 4. An obstruction of the lymphatic system. Where can you look for edema? 1. Behind each medial malleolus by applying a digital pressure on the area until a pit is formed. 2. Over the dorsum of each foot. 3. On the anterior part of the calf. 4. Over the knee. Articulation. 5. Anterior abdominal wall. 6. Sacral region, bed in bed immobilized patients. 7. Breast edema. 8. Upper limbs, inferior, internal and posterior aspect and over the elbow. Face edema. In case of the face edema, you look for edema, you compare the aspect with the recent photo of the patient. What is lymph edema? The legs, external genitalia, the female breast most frequently is involved in lymph edema. Lymph edema is a soft swelling in the early stages. Progressing with the progression becomes indurated, hard and non-pitting. Normal skin in early stages can be seen. In the late stages it becomes rough and thick, which is called elephantiasis can be unilateral or bilateral, can be of normal color, no brown pigmentation on the skin is seen. What about generalized edema? The causes of generalized edema can be hypoproteinemia or fluid overload. The different etiologies for generalized edema can be heart failure, liver failure, kidney disorder, starvation, chronic pancreatitis, malabsorption syndrome, repeated removal of ascites. Generalized edema can be symmetrical, usually dependent, fluid overload, or in case of non-dependent generalized edema, can be seen in eyelid, face, scrotum, the cause hypoproteinemia. We will talk about the different types of generalized edema. What is cardiac edema? Cardiac edema is symmetric, dependent, painless, and a pitting edema. Can be cyanotic and cold edema, or we say it is cyanotic and cold edema, due to a low cardiac output. Untreated edema develops in a cranial direction to an asarca. Cardiac edema is associated with dyspnea and other signs of heart failure. More frequent in right heart failure, cardiac edema occurs. What about renal edema? Characteristics of renal edema. Renal edema is symmetric, non-dependent, painless, soft, and it is an edema which is easy pitting, white and of normal temperature. Occurs in the face, eyelids, dorsal aspect of the feet, external genitalia. What about the mechanisms that can lead to a renal edema? Hypoproteinemia in case of nephrotic syndrome or fluid overload mechanism in case of nephritic syndrome. So with the different types of syndrome, different mechanisms occur. What about pregnancy edema? A pregnancy edema is symmetric, dependent, painless, soft and an edema which is easy pitting. It is white and of normal temperature. Can be seen on the dorsum of the feet, 
and on the ankles. Of moderate severity, it also affects the hand and face. What about catamenial or cycle edema? It is a discrete and moderate edema of the legs. When does it occur? It appears predominantly in the second half of the menstrual period due to secondary hyperaldosteronism. What about generalized edema, mixed edema? Mixed edema appears in severe hypothyroidism due to infiltration of the subcutaneous tissue with mucopolysaccharides. Periorbital edema that does not fit with pressure. The hair and eyebrows are dry, coarse and thin. The skin is dry and thickened. Thank you for watching and looking forward to see you in the next video with a new topic.